everyone, it's Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, thanks for coming and hanging out. If you like what you see, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Um, but if you've been here multiple times, thank you for coming back and spending some time with me. So, right here, I have these two big <laughs> tubes. And I'm sure you can see, I took the liberty of taking off the uh, outer packaging. One, my address on there, and two, it was a struggle. There was tons of tape. So I appreciate that because these things came in nice and safe and there's bubble wrap. So if you can't tell, I'm sure you can see it through the bubble wrap. We have two huge tubes from Treasure Studios Art. So it has been a minute, a hot minute be since I have done any sort of unboxing from Treasure Studios Art. So I ordered these way back in March 25th when they had their new releases and they had that huge like 11 or 12 painting drop from Lizzie Falcon and that's what I was waiting on. I absolutely love Lizzie Falcon. Love, love, love. Um, we will not be undoing both of these today because one, that'd be a long video because there are four kits in here so we're just going to choose one so there are thumbnails on the end which I already looked at and I will I'm just gonna and I already know which one I want to do because it's my favorite one and I want I'm like really excited to show you guys so when you order a specific size from Treasure Studios Art You'll either get it in their, this awesome box that they have that folds up or um, you get these tubes. So I really like that. However, these are really heavy. So it's kind of blown out the bottom a little bit. So that's cool when you could just untwist it. But I think with shipping and the weight, I'll have to fix that later. So let's get these ginormous tubes out yeah it messed up the it's all right it's coming all the way from australia um the shipping on this the tracking never um the tracking never updated so i'm gonna save this bowl wrap though so it was kind of a surprise when i got it um and i got it <clears throat> excuse me dhl but anyway i got it sometime last week or so so it's not too bad. I just want, I want my notes. I just want my notes. Let me make sure this is the right one. I'm struggling a little bit. Hold up. Yep. This is the right one. So I'm going to put this back up here. I'm going to move this one out of the way. In fact, I think the last one I did way back was um, a Lizzie Falcon. So um, I'm not... See, the tube does open up this way. But I, since the bottom fell out, I'm going to just uh, take them out this way. So each one of these I got in a uh, one. So two are in rounds and twos are in squares. And oh goodness, they're in there. So one and two. And all right. Oh. Oh, dang. Hold up. Something just flew out. I got to go retrieve it. Okay. It's part of toolkits. All right, I'm back. So, um, if you guys are not familiar with Treasure Studios Art, how their toolkits come in this organza, pink organza bag with a satin ribbon or satin tie. And the front is branded, as you can see. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but Zeus is snoring, so I just want to let you know. So I'll dump everything out here. So we have this cute little bag. We have a glittery pen. I think that's Levi. Sorry, guys. This glittery single placer pen with the plastic plastic end. I don't know much about it. I just know that um, supposedly it's supposed to be good with helping pick up special drills. I'm not sure. If you know, drop me a comment. You get two thin multi-placers, four and a seven, yep, four and a seven placer. 
Hold on. So you guys can see right there. And a straightener. Can you guys hear that? That's Levi. I'm so sorry. You get a pink squishy because they're, they're brand, they're, they're color, signature color is pink. And then you get some pink tweezers. And these aren't the super sharp ones. They're the rounded, the rounded tweezers. But still keep that little sheath on there. You get uh, two pieces of wax. And then a bow. So, it's a good toolkit. And this other one is exactly the same, so I am not going to um, open that one up. So, I hope everyone's cool with that, because they're all the same. Yep, I just have to throw the tweezers back in there. All right, so, this is the, I'm going to do the first, oh my God, oh my God. I'm going to do this one first. So this one is huge. So this did get a little crunched on the side. That's okay. Um, it's not affecting just the size of the canvas. It'll fly out. So Treasure Studios Art does not use poured glue. I thought it was, but it is not. Um, a wonderful subscriber let me know way back when I did my last unboxing so it's like a mounting adhesive or something different so some people say that you can pour, pull, uh, roll it back some people say you can't I'm not going to risk it so um, I'm not going to do it I did get this in a man of size and I'm going to tell you why so now I got to stand up so here are our drills Pre-packaged, like pre-baggies, which I love. And this is our thought, our image, and this is Shine. Yeah, she is stunning. So there is a little bit of a smell, but it's just like the, it's not anything bad. It's just like um the, I think it's just the adhesive, honestly, because I noticed it in my other one. Oh my God. But um, my other one, but it dissipated after I had it out of the box. So it is a little, just uh, bear with me right quick so I can roll this back out. She is just, oh my God, in so many ways do I love her. So it's a little, it's a little bit more flexible of a canvas that it's on. So we have branded at the top and it says, we create magic. So right here, branded right there. And then we have our thumbnail with our schematic right there. And then there is another one at the bottom. So one in the upper right, one in the bottom left. And you know, I'm gonna use my coasters to keep her down just for a second. So I hope you guys don't mind. I'm gonna use my household coasters. She is, so Shine is a 60 by 80 round. And look, I mean, look at her. She is just, let me turn you guys so you can see. I might move this chair so you guys can see a little bit better too. Hopefully I can bring this around and not mess it up too much. Get you in a little bit closer. So, in Lizzie Falcon fashion, we've got our hair, our beautiful rainbow hair, souped over the eye with one eye showing. Um, what I love about the fact is in all, um, except for this one because she's very colorful, the, the girls in her art are all gray. And... I saw in an interview, I think, who had her? I forgot who, who did the the um the interview with her. It was a while ago. She says she does them all in gray. 
So that way they are neutral. They're, they're not a specific race. They're not a specific culture. It's just a woman. So I really like that. Um, so you need to be careful with this because the plastic, there's not a lot of overlay on the plastic cover. Um, so you need to be very careful. It is a very thick plastic but I'm going to try and pull some of it back very slowly. Sorry if I bumped you guys, just to see if it'll um, lay a little bit flatter. If not, you can always turn it the other way around and put some heavy books. Yeah, it did lay a little bit flatter. So I did this because right up here, her crown right here reminds me of the Statue of Liberty. Um, to me, she is a huge symbol to support. Whether it, this is just my interpretation, whether it's the right way or not, just a huge representation to support the LGBTQ plus community. I mean, I absolutely adore her. Um, whether I'm going to bling her out some or not, I'm not quite sure because these drills are so bright. Um, I don't really think that she needs it. But if you guys think, tell me what you think. Drop me a comment. Let me know. Should I bling some of her out? Maybe should I just do bling out her eye? Maybe should I just throw some like little wisps throughout her hair? Let me know what you think. This drill field is so, so clear. And there are 35 colors. So I really like that too. Not too many colors. The sun, there's so much color blocking. There's some little confetti on her nose, a little up here. But this is all like color blocking confetti. Let me uh, move her around so maybe you can see. And I'm going to do my best to pull it up so you guys can see the drill field. So I'm trying. The canvas is just as big as I am. So if you guys can see how clear that drill field is. Hold her up so you can get her a little closer. Trying to get the glare off. Look at her hair. I love that in the rays of sun. So let's flip her over and look at the drills real quick. I'm not gonna take these out because I want them to stay nice and neat, nice and neat, so. But you will be able to see. So we do get an inventory sheet with a bigger picture. So I do like that. I love, excuse me. I love that um, they're pre-bagged so I can just get to work. Uh, DMC codes and then the amount of drills, the quantity for each color that you get. Look at this ginormous bag of that yellowy orange. It's huge. And basically it's all, there's some 310. I see a little straggler that fell out, but we have whites and all these bright, bright colors and that green. You guys, I mean, this is stunning, 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 stunning. That green is so bright. All right. She is, oh, I'm, I'm gonna try to figure out how to fix this. Anywho, let's get her out of the way. So this is Shine. I'm just gonna loosely roll her up for right now and get her out of the way. All right. This next one is Imagination or figment of your imagination. It's like, this is like a, gonna be a two-part Lizzie Falcon festival. So that did burst out a little bit, but that's all right. I don't need to keep these if I'm gonna put them back in the uh, thing. Get our drills out. So this one is also around, so the other one is, is, is a square. The other two are squares. So this one is smaller. I didn't go and get the biggest ones. This is, 
I mean, it's still big, but it's a 55 by 70, so it's a, it's a good size. And I just really loved this one. Now, um, I thought it was very, like, whimsical, and um, I'm going to start from the top. She's in a tree and she's just hanging out. And let me go through it. Like, it's hard for me to see right now. Let me just pull this back a little bit. Once again, we have our two legends. 50, she's a 55 by 70 round. Now, this one, you know, it, there is still a lot of color blocking, but there is definitely... Um, a lot more confetti. And this is definitely smoothing out much better. Also a good thing when you go slowly, you um that way you don't um get any air pockets in there because I tend to do that and I have to keep going over and over when I'm done filming before I put it away to make sure. So this seems to work out really well when you pull this thick plastic back. I don't know if this plastic is thicker than what they used to have. That's how long it's been since I've ordered anything from them. So here she is sitting up in the tree. Here's the tree right here. She's sitting here. There's a little door right here in the branch. Um, I will, and this one I am going to get the inventory sheet out just so we get a better idea of, um, so you guys can see the picture. So here she is in her pretty dress, sitting up in the tree. So, so cute. I love the door. I love the flower in her hair. I love the color of her dress. This has got 35 colors also. And there's just all these little owls in the tree. I think that's a little mouse. There's a little, you know, another little, there's like two houses in there. It's just super, super whimsical. Little side eye she's giving. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, so all down here is color blocking. And then around the door, the doorway right here is confetti. Um, her skin tone is a couple colors, and then there's um, some confetti here. Um, it's not an obnoxious amount, so I don't know about up here. It gets a little crazy. But then, you know, I think it's a, a decent amount, and it's not going to be too overwhelming for me. Let's do a little close-up. So the drill field is very clear, but I wanted you to bring her up so you could see her face and see the drill field. And sorry about the glare. Trying not to bump you guys. We'll turn it sideways so you can get a view from here. See the little house? Now let's look at the, the drills. I'm gonna close this so you guys get a better look. Pre-bagged with the DMC codes on it. So I really like that. So with this, it's gonna be a lot of darker colors. There's a big old Bag of 310, lots of grays and more darker colors, maroons and browns, probably some 939 mixed in there. Um, there's some white and there are some purples in there. Um, so I'm gonna put this inventory sheet back in here just so I don't lose it. I like to try and, that did not even go there on the other side, way to go. I like to try to keep everything together, but sometimes when I don't do a really good job um, rolling it back up, I have to store them separately, but I'm running out of room. So here it is again. I'll roll it back over. So yep, this is figment of your imagination. So this was, um, let's see, I got the medium size. This one was, 65.50. I have yet to work on a Treasure Studios art, but really um, I get them 
for two artists, Mystique and for uh, Lizzie Falcon. So this is, um, and it's legally licensed too. So I don't, can't do better than that. Um, I did have a gift card that I had won. So I was able to apply that to my uh, mega purchase, if you want to call it that. So yeah, here are two of the four Lizzie Falcons. So we have this one and then Shine. I'll drag it out. Oh, oh I have it rolled up. But I'll bring it back out for you guys real quick so you can see it. There are multiple sizes to choose from. So do not think that this large mammoth one is the um, only option that you can get. There are, are other sizes. For me, though, this one, no, there was no, um, no talking myself up or anything. It was hands down the largest size they had because of how stunning it was. And I had seen her working on this, and I was so hoping that it would get released, and it did. All right, so that's all I have for you guys right now. Um, tell me what you think. Drop me a comment. Um, did you like what did you didn't like? Just always remember to be kind. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later and be kind. Bye.